hi friends welcome to my channel civil 3d pro designer in this video we are going to discuss a procedure of linear measurement by passing that how can we find or how can we determine horizontal distance by passing for this method we must need to know our passing measurement before measure any horizontal distance so before starting if you are new on my youtube channel please subscribe civil 3d pro designer for these type of in informative videos procedures troubleshoots about civil 3d and land surveying you can also access me through my facebook page civil 3d pro designer if you have any question about land surveying you can directly contact me So uh, when we have not any uh, measuring tap in the field then we can use passing to um, get measurement of any linear distance but for this we must need to know about our passing measurement like one step how much can measure so it is depend on anyone part number one we must need to determine age of individual passing length it will go through like this step number one measure a distance of 25 meter with a steel tape and mark the end points then step number two walk forward over the distance and count your paces step number three estimate the fraction of the last pace to the nearest one length record the number of pace in the field book then repeat uh, step number two four times step number five will be compute the average length of the natural pace by dividing the total distance walked in this case 100 meter by the total number of pace so uh, here we have a little example if you have you are three students three different student you can set two peg on point a and point b you can mark them as 25 meter on ground with measuring tab then student one for example take a to b 46 then 48 from b to a then second time 47 and 48 these are the number of steps and student two also have student three also do something like that and then you can make some of your steps then you can get average so this student number one have 47.25 average steps of 25 meter so its pace length is 0 0.64 meter one pace length is 0 0.64 but another have some dim difference and the third one have also different so everyone have some different space length you must need to know if you are land surveyor or civil engineer you can determine your pace length to get idea in field when you have not any measuring tape there so here you can see calculations of your passing length part number two measurement of unknown distance by passing step number one choose a flat stretch of ground and locate a survey line it can be a b one two something like that by means of marker then 
step number two walk forward over the survey line and count your paces step number three repeat step two four times compute the average length of survey line something like this you can do in your field to determine the any distance by your pacing i will put this pdf in the description link you can download free and make practice with this hope you like this type of informative video related to civil 3d if you are new please subscribe civil 3d and if you have any question related to land surveying you can write down in the comments